Joshua Washington again here. Can you just talk about, this team has talked a lot about the locker room and a, a winning culture and a, a culture inside the locker room. What, what does that all mean to you? Honestly, that means a lot because that's just, out, that's just a team being all together in one. Uh, things outside of off the court also translate on the court. So if guys aren't in unison off the court, then it's going gonna, it's gonna to show on the court as well. So I think being a part in the locker room and having the locker room all together and all the guys on the same page is what's really going to transfer over to the court. Bradley, Mark Giannato from the Washington Post. Last night, the owner of the team, Ted Leonza, said being in the lottery again would be unacceptable for this team. How does that make you feel? What do you think about those expectations coming in? Uh, I agree with them, honestly, because I think the team that they have now is – it's, it's going to be a great team. I mean, they just made a great trade with, in getting Ariza and, and Okafor, so I think they have a great front line, and, and hopefully I can help out the backcourt with John and Jordan Crawford. So um, I'm really looking forward to it, and what um, the owner said is, is 100% true. Hello, Bradley. Adam McGinnis, ESPN True Hoop. Can you talk about with all the trade rumors circulating in the last few days, you know, some of those emotions they've been going through in the last 24 hours as well, and or do you feel like you're finally in the M NBA? Uh, honestly, I do now. I'm actually starting to realize it. Uh, I was nervous, like I said before, with all the rumors going around. But uh, at the end of the day, I'm glad I'm a wizard. And uh, yeah, that's funny, honestly. Thomas Block with the Eyes Radio Network. I'm, I'm wondering, going back to the beginning of your college season, at what point did you know that making this transition was right for you at that time? I didn't know to the end of the year, honestly, because I was one of the guys who who waited to the end of the deadline to actually declare for the draft. Because um, it was really a hard decision for me, actually, because I wanted to stay in school to hopefully work towards my degree, and also I just developed a relationship with my teammates that, I mean, I just started. So I knew next year we were going to have a great team because we only lost one senior. So I knew everybody was coming back. We would have had a chance. We were that close to being in the Final Four this year. So I knew next year it was going to be pretty good. We were going to be a pretty good team, but at the end of the day, my dream is right in front of me, so I just have to go and chase it. Hi, Tommy Griffiths, WBIG Radio here in Washington, D.C. First, got to say, go Gators. <laughs> you know, Mike. And secondly, you cited a couple of times that you're really excited about being in Washington, D.C. Can you explain specifically what excites you about being here? Honestly, just the fan base, uh, not even just for basketball, for all the, their support of everybody that all the sports teams here and uh, they're really supportive and it's, it's the nation's capital I mean why wouldn't you want to be here everybody everybody's very supportive and I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of fans at games this year and uh, it's a great market and a great city overall and I'm really looking forward to it. In the uh, 12 hours or so since you've been drafted have you been imagining yourself playing alongside John Wall and, and how do you think your styles will mesh? Uh, I've pitched it a, a few times, uh, but I would love to play play alongside of John. Uh, John plays fast, and he can play slow. He can control the team, and I think that I can help him out a lot with spacing out the floor to create penetration for him to be able to create for himself and, as well as for his teammates. So uh, hopefully uh, I'll be able to knock down some shots for him uh, when, he, when he penetrates and hopefully be able to contribute as best as I can. You mentioned that you have uh, communicated with a few Wizards teammates. Uh... Who have you t spoken with, and uh, what kind of messages have you guys exchanged? Uh, Trevor Booker texted me. Uh, I talked to John last night. Uh, Chris Chris Singleton texted me saying FSU. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I told him I was like, no way. <laughs> but, but, oh, and uh, Trevor Reza texted me as well. So uh, all these guys have all reached out to me, and I'm really I'm glad they all did that. It just shows me that they're caring and they're ready ready to get going.